Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again for Stoga Clock, and today I've got the Cuban Seed Cigar Company P26 Regalo to take a look at. Uh, this is a what I guess to be a 6 inch by 60 ring gauge cigar. It's box pressed. It may be even bigger than 60 ring gauge. I know for sure that it is 6 inches long. Uh, on the website for Cuban Seed Cigar Company, they do not have the dimensions of the cigar. Um, so unfortunately, I don't know for sure uh, how big the ring gauge is. And since it's box pressed, it's even harder to tell. Um, but quite a fat one. Now this cigar, they say, is aged for 12 years. There is no blend information available that I can find online. Uh, so it's going to be quite a surprise here. But the idea of this is that it is a, I don't want to say knockoff, that's not a good word, um, but something that is close to the Padron 1926 series blend. Um, the Cuban Seed Cigar Company, they make a lot of different cigars that uh, are supposed to resemble the flavor profiles of a lot of very famous cigars out there. So this one is supposed to be like the 1926 uh, Siri Padron, so we'll see how that is uh, and how close it is. But they say that these are aged for 12 years while the Padron is aged for 5. Anyways, it's a $22 cigar, so not a cheap one by any means. So we'll get this bad boy cut up, we'll light them, and we will smoke them. It looks to be rolled very well. Uh, very, very smooth wrapper here. The seams, you can barely see it all. Uh, I believe there's yeah, there's a triple cap on here. Um, very nice construction. Wrapper itself gives off a little bit of leather, a little bit of an oak aroma as well, out of the foot. Just kind of like a spicy dried fruit aroma. So we'll get this bad boy going. If we can get the lighter to work, that is always the key. <laughs> Right away, a lot of salty leather, a little bit of a bitter coffee on the draw. Yeah, that salty leather and bitter coffee just come through on your lips too. Slight black pepper spice there. Now coming through the finish, the leather comes through. There's some cocoa, but that's also bitter as well. Not necessarily a good bitter this time. Through the nose, almost no flavor. Just a light cedar, maybe even some white pepper, but just a faint hint of that. So I'll keep smoking on this and come back to you guys after the first third. We'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again with this P26 Regalo from the Cuban Seed Cigar Company. About 25 minutes in here on the draw, I just picked up some leather and black pepper that's pretty consistent here in the first third. Then through the nose, there's really only a faint hint of cedar. And then on the finish, I get some smoky cocoa alongside some charred hickory. Very smoky notes uh, in, in, on the finish here in this first third. Strength in the body have settled in at the medium mark. Um, not a whole lot going on so far. I had expected a little bit more, especially since these are $22, uh, and that they had noted that these are like the Padron 1926 series blend. Um, that blend is much more complex, at least in this first third. So we'll see how it progresses here, and I'll keep smoking on it and come back to you guys after the second third. See you in a bit. Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again with this P26 Regalo. About an hour in here on the draw, there's more uh, leather alongside some salty earth. Then through the nose, I pick up more cedar with a nice sweet vanilla flavor. And on the finish, I just get some cinnamon and black pepper spice. The finish is now kind of spicy. I'd say overall the strength in the body are still at the medium mark though. And the burn's been pretty good. It is burning pretty quickly for how large of a cigar this is. But hey, no worries there. Um, we'll keep smoking on it and I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. We'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, Cut Light Smoke back again with this P26 Regalo. About an hour and a half in here. Getting pretty hot so I'm going to put it down here shortly. On the draw, I picked up more leather with some wheat and then an earth that's now very vegetal. No change to the retro hail. Still picking up cedar and some nice sweet vanilla, which is really good. And then on the finish, I get a lot of black pepper spice with the return of some smoky cocoa. Overall, the strength in the body finished out at the medium mark here. Very consistent throughout. And I'd say that this P26 Regalo is a good smoke. It's consistent. Not super complex, though, and not necessarily worth $22. 
Now, I'm sure there are some factors that do uh, determine that price point. This is out of Hollywood, California, so I'm sure the cost of living is a lot more than where I'm at in the Midwest. And then on top of that, if they did age the tobacco for 12 years, there's a lot more cost to that too. So uh, as far as comparing this to the Pedro 1926 series, I don't see all the similarities. Uh, there's a flavor or two maybe that cross between the cigars, but I definitely go for a Pedro 1926 before I go for this one. Uh, just my personal preference. This is still a good smoke. It just doesn't have the complexity of the Padrones, and it's just kind of a straight shooter. So, But it did burn well, uh, burn quick, but still got an hour and a half out of it. Uh, and, and it's a good smoke overall. I'd still recommend trying it if you're okay with the price point. I did want to say a special thank you to Lathe with the Cuban Seed Cigar Company for sending this to me for review. I do have two more cigars that I will be getting reviews out here for the future for their company, and I'm very excited to try them out. If you guys haven't seen it, I did do a, a review on one of their Fire Oak blends, so go through my YouTube channel or iRobusto.com and find that and check it out. So if you guys like my video, hit the like button, subscribe, check out iRobusto.com, and until next time, you guys keep it smoky, and I'll catch you later. See ya.